Hi, my name is Dennis. I'm a carpenter, and there's a carpenter I sand. And I want to spend a few minutes with you today talking about a new way of sanding. A way that's going to save you money, it's going to save you effort, it's going to save you time. It's the Sandbag Kinetic Sander. This is one flexible sanding bag, not a block, a sanding bag. And it's a deerskin bag full of kinetic sand. Now, kinetic sand is a special industrial sand that's been super sifted. Then it's coated in a proprietary formula that keeps it from binding or separating, clumping, and you can put it in any shape and it'll stay there. Now the benefit of that is that as you're sanding, you're not having to put your fingers into unique shapes, reducing the stress on your knuckles, and it distributes that pressure much better than your fingertips can, because you have ridges between your fingertips. When this is pressed into shape, the contact is 100% along the body throughout the width and the length of this sanding bag. Another thing that's important about this bag that we're going to show you is it's ergonomically correct for your wrist. Sanding blocks or anything wide when you have to spread your fingers creates a tension. And if you're at an odd angle, it can affect your ulnar and your median nerves as they travel down your corporal sleeve. We're also going to talk to you about the benefit of saving money. Quarter sheets of sandpaper are the way to go. If you're a serious hobbyist or a professional, you know that. You can buy a full sheet of sandpaper, quarter it, and it'll run you anywhere from 10 to 15 cents for each one of these as compared to a foam pad that can go as high as $2.50 or as low as $1.60. Either way, it's a big savings here. So let's get to work. Let me show you how this happens. First, when I designed this, I designed it with a thin handle so that you can grab it, which allows your thumb and your fingers to line up naturally with the wrist. So you're not twisting it and you're not putting pressure down on it, which creates stress on the ulnar and the median nerves as they go down through that corporal sleeve. So you take your quarter sheet of paper, drop your sandbag in it, you grab it, and you're done. No springs, no clamps, no Velcro, no expensive pre-cut sandpaper. The savings, just on the money alone, pays for the sandbag in your first project if you're a remodeler. The natural tactile nature of the deer skin creates friction with the sandpaper and it stays in place. And you can sand all day long comfortably. You see what I was talking about? My finger, my thumb, my wrist are all in a line. I've done a lot of sanding. I have swung a hammer for too many years. I have to do things that are easy on my body nowadays. Now, I'm going to show you something. If I just fold this away, if the camera can pick that up, so I rotate that around, this weird shape that you're looking at, that's my hand. See how that just fits me like a deerskin glove. Now, there's another thing I want to show you about this. When you're sanding back and forth, you have a splay in the bag of about an inch and a half. And if you turn it just a wee bit, now you're more broad than that sanding block. Look at that. And you have, if you've used these before, you know if you turn sanding blocks, sideways what happens you can catch your paper you can rip your paper all it takes is an imperfection in the wood or a weak sheet of paper well then you're done not so with the sandbag because it, it stays it hugs and it fills those voids now there's something else about the kinetic sandbag that i want to show you say you're having to sand four sides of a piece of stock or you have a unique shape. With a, a, a block, you're gonna to have to do this side first, then that side. With the sandbag kinetic sander, boom, there it is. All you have to do is sand. You've cut your time in half, you're saving effort, you're saving money. Time is money. And there's no other sanding tool in the world that can do that, or this, or squeeze down to 
to fit your smaller details like an OG. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but if you're sanding OG, say you've trimmed out a, a cabinet, look at that. It mirrors it. What about an outside radius? What about if you're doing curves, an inside radius, spindle work? Say you're turning on a lathe. This works great on a lathe. I wish I had one here for you to demonstrate. Now, you think a sanding block can do that? I don't think so. It just doesn't work near as well as this sanding bag. Now, this piece of trim here, it can be base or case. Say you're a remodel painter and you're going to redo a house. You're going to reshoot the lacquer because it's crazed over the years, or it, maybe it's a white shellac finish and it's yellowed on you. You got to knock it down before you reshoot it. Doesn't take much. And it mirrors, mirrors every little crevice that those knives in that shaper cut into that wood. Now, step over here, coves. We get into uh, a lot of coves. Uh, th these are rather small coves, but I use them just for illustrative purposes, how you can sand all the way around this cove on those details coming up the side and the cove in the center. All you have to do is wrap your sandpaper around it and sand. You've, you've cut your time by three. Large cove, small cove, the same thing. Imagine if you had to knock down the finish on large crown molding. What a great labor savings device this would be. Now, I've told you these are 15 cents. What I haven't told you is something that's near and dear to me is these one-use sanding pads. Well, after you're done with them, they go right into Mother Earth. We need to stop that. We need to start treating Mother Earth with the respect she deserves. 100% biodegradable. Should you ever tear it, lose it, trash it in any way, shape, or form, at least it'll dissolve. So, I'm here as a, as a new startup business. I'm asking for your business. Give me a try. Go to my new website, sandingbag.com. Again, sandingbag.com. I thank you for your business.